And welcome to the End Time Show for our End Time Bible Prophecy Podcast. I'm your host, Gerald. Um, today's podcast will be dealing with law attraction is new age teaching, not a Christian teaching. Um, there are individuals that are with the Christian world try to pose the law of attraction as a Christian teaching. Um, it's very much deeply rooted in occult um, teachings. Um, you have such individuals as um, false prophet E. Bernard Jordan, who is known as the master prophet, um, who really um, promotes this um, new age philosophy and doctrine. And he has it in some of his writings in his books um, that he has. Um, you have another individual, um, Cindy Trim is another individual who promotes law of attraction and of her different books. Um, she promotes this and I believe on um, Steve Schultz, Elijah's List has an article talking about the law of attraction, um, the feature um, article writer of that particular article is Cindy Trim. So we really want to examine this because um, the word of God talks about um, and first Timothy chapter four, verse one, which we'll go to first Timothy about doctrines of demons to that scripture. Furthermore, we want to learn more about the law of attraction. Um, I know years ago, Dave Hunt, great prolific author, uh, man of God and integrity had written a book years ago, the seduction of Christianity and he begins to talk about how the occult um, has begun to infiltrate the church. So we're going to First Timothy, verse one, because that verse talks about in the last days um, um, doctrines of devils. Uh, here we are. It says now the Spirit speaketh expressly that in the latter times some shall depart from the faith, giving heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of devils. So we're living in that age now where um, Christians see on Facebook, um, they, the secret, which we'll get a little bit, came about through a spirit channeler um, who channeled these writings um, and it did not come from um, the Holy Spirit. It was not inspired by the true living God. Let's define what the law of, of attraction is. And here's the actual meaning of the law of attraction. It says, because the law of cause and effect is continually at work, there is always an inner cause for every outer effect. Your outer world is direct result of your inner world. Every circumstances in life is a result of choice and every choice is the result of thought. All those things that fill your mind holds the keys to your reality your thoughts provide the fuel for your words, and your words provide the fuel for your world. The law of cause and effect also works with the law of attraction. Simply put, this means likes attracts likes. That thus like are if thoughts are things that are made up of substance, then the material manifest in our lives is attracted to us by our spiritual thoughts. In other words, inspired experience are caused by inspired thoughts. So we even see within the word of faith movement sometimes indirectly promotes this um, philosophy, this new age philosophy and some other things and all speaking things into existence. Um, this is rooted in the law of attraction. So. Uh, we have to be walking in spiritual discernment, especially in these last and evil days. And we have to make sure things line up with the word of God. So let's go ahead and examine where did the law of attraction originate from? Um, the phrase law of attraction appears first in Hinduism. And you can see in um her esoteric mystery writings of um, H.P. Blavatsky or Madame um, Hel Helena Blavatsky. 
uh, which she is the founder of Theosophy, um, which is a religion that worships Lucifer as God, plus mankind can evolve into a God. She's, this, is, this is where we see um, the a law of attraction originated from. And again, it's rooted into Hinduism. So it comes from the East. Um, Blavatsky, she's known um, as the mother of the New Age movement. And we can also see some of her colleagues where um, this phrase also appears in some of their writings. Um, some of the theosophical authors, such as William Kwan, Judge, um, Annie Bissett. Um, Bissett, though, she claims that the law of attraction is a form of karma. So um, these are the things that we see that are taking place when we're looking at the law of attraction. So when here people who incorporate this and I've, I've seen Christians, um, I've seen people that have friends on Facebook who are quote unquote Christians who say that they operate in business and they talk about, you know, things into existence and uh, having positive thoughts and other things and all. Uh, knowing to them are that they occult teachings and philosophies and it's not based on the word of God because even when we look at the word of God when we look at Matthew um, 6 verse 33 it says seek ye first the kingdom of God and all these things will be unto you so when and God sometimes knows not everything is material because some things if you look at the result of all of God's blessings being material um, sometimes material things and wealth and other things can lead you astray and away from the word of God but it's seem to do the will of God first and his kingdom not our own kingdom not our own agenda um, those are the things that we should be um, seeking after now very popular book that a lot of people read in regards to becoming more successful in business and sales and other things and all um napoleon hill now um i know years ago um, a former friend of mine who's in sales and is a pastor um got insulted because um i told him about napoleon hill because um, he had his book Think Rich, um, Grow Rich, um, which is one of the most popular selling books to this day by Hill. But let's look at some things um, with Hill, some of his best known books. Just mentioned um, Think Rich and Grow Rich. He has Grow Rich with Peace of Mind. And then he has a book called The Law of Success in 16 Lessons. Um, here is some references uh, from Hill in 1928. Um, he makes reference to the law of attraction is more than several times. So um, Hill uses the law of attraction. But let's look, take a little deeper look into Hill. Where is he getting these writings from and it's inspiring him to write these best selling um, books to this day? People are. Um, quoting it like it is the gospel. Um, Hill received information he wrote his best selling books from ascended masters, otherwise known as spirit guides. In fact, his books um, grow rich with the peace of mind. He states that unseen spirits hover over him and that they gave him the materials and chapters for the book. So here we have Napoleon Hill. Um, confessing that he received the information from these books from ascended masters who are nothing more than uh, deceitful, seducing spirits who are posing themselves as these great ascended masters that are given this, this esoteric knowledge to write these books. So it's, it's further spread these demonic lies, even though um, we have to look back in Genesis 3 and they ate from the tree of good and evil. So these spirits are espousing 
their things. He'll state it loud and clear that his ideals are from spirit entities. Further, further on, he writes the following. He says, now again, I have evidence that unseen friends hover about me. This is this is the words of Napoleon Hill um, about me, unknowably to the ordinary senses in my studies. There is a group of strange beings who maintain a school of wisdom. The school has masters who can disembody themselves and travel instantly to any place they choose to give knowledge directly by voices. Now, I knew that one of these masters had come across thousands of miles through the night into my study. I should not set down every word he said, but much what he said already has been presented to you in the chapters of this book and will follow in other chapters. You have earned the right to reveal a supreme secret to others said the vibrant voice. You have been under the guidance of the great school. Now you must give the world a blueprint. So very interesting that we see that Napoleon Hill, Think Rich, Grow Rich, this information is coming from the demonic realm. Um, he is not receiving um, folks this from um, the inspiration of the Holy Spirit, but unholy, unclean spirits that are, that were dictating this information to him. So when you are reading these self-help books or these things to help you um, become materially successful and all, you have to use discernment and make sure what where the information is actually coming from. Um, is it coming from the Holy Spirit? Is it coming from man? It's, is, is it not a demonic twist or something that's esoteric that's gonna lead you further down, down the road? Now, let's get into, I'm gonna get into Esther Hicks, um, which is very popular in regards to the promoting of quote unquote secret, which um, Christians were also reading this um, as a self-help um, book and started picking up a lot of these terms. Now, um, Hicks, she does have an alter ego, um, which is called Abraham, which she teaches the law of attraction. Now, um, this spirit guide um, or this alter ego, Abraham, is nothing more than a demon spirit that she's actually channeling. Um, this new age um, spirit channeler, she teaches the following because she is Hicks, Esther Hicks is a new age channeler. Um, it's her and her husband, Jerry Hicks. Um, they help inspire Rhonda Burns um, popular book and DVD, The Secret. So, um, the Hickses through Esther channeling um, Abraham help Rhonda Burr's popular best-selling book and DVD, The Secret, which um, people um, begin to really rave about. I believe Oprah had Rhonda Byrne on uh, her program. It says the Hicks are two new age gurus who channel the spirit called Abraham and receive their information from this spirit entity. Um, they have a book called The Law of Attraction, The Basic Teachings of Abraham. In this book, they state that this most powerful law of the universe is the law of attraction. In other words, likes attracts likes. Interestingly enough, the spirit of Abraham, while speaking about Esther, equates her to Jesus Christ, Buddha, and Muhammad. So these lying spirits equate this woman on the same level of Jesus, but not only Jesus, a pantheon of other um, great quote unquote religious figures, um, Buddha and Muhammad. Now we know Jesus Christ is Lord of Lord, King of Kings, but just like Hill 
just like Hicks, these spirits who utilize these people and even Rhonda Byrne, um, they become quite wealthy because promoting the kingdom of darkness and and it, the word of God talks about that Satan is is the prince and power of the air. Also, too, he is the God of this world. So when you're promoting his kingdom and you have a platform and you're able to influence millions and millions of people, of course, he's going to bring the money aspect and make sure his people are well compensated. But the end result, if they don't repent, they don't come um, to the truth, they don't become um they're not delivered from these spirit entities that they're channeling and um, putting out these lies, they will suffer the consequence of eternal damn, damnation. So looking at how the law of attraction is not a Christian teaching, it's not a Christian doctrine. You have some people out there that try to say, well, you know, uh, the New Agers, they borrowed this from the Bible. And um, I'm speaking things into existence. And then they try to use that scripture, um, I believe, over in Romans, um, calling those things that are not as they were, and just these other things and all. And even within the Word of Faith movement, um, the teachings of that we are um, little gods and um, birds make after their own kind and cows make after their own kind. So God made man after his own kind and his likeness and that we are little gods, which is further from the truth. And we have to be very much centered in the word of God. We have to be uh, centered in Christ, centered in true biblical principles and the study of the word of God. Um, so with this being said, we have to have a proper biblical response to new age teachings because the Bible warns against people that seek knowledge from the demonic spirits. Um, they call these people who are espousing this. These are mediums are spiritualists. Um, the fact of the matter is that even with Bob Flansky, with um, Bassett, with Hill, with Hicks, are mediums that are aiding the advancement of the kingdom of darkness by leading men and women away from God. So as Christians, we are not supposed to regard mediums at all. So if you have some of this literature on your bookcase, or you have it in an ebook form, or you have it on the book cassettes, so you listen to these things, and all uh, you should not be regarding um, this information at all because when you are, you're giving heed to mediums who are giving you this information. This is, I just want to also bring this point up also too. It says, no matter how good the information is these spiritual entities are giving it to you it doesn't come from the holy spirit it doesn't come from from actual man it's coming from the demonic realm um, let's look at deuteronomy chapter 18 verse 10 3 11 which says there shall not come or there shall not be found among you anyone that maketh his son or his daughter to pass through the fire, or that useth divination, or observer of times, or enchanter, or a witch, or a charmer, or a consulter with familiar spirits, or a wizard, or a necromancer. So when we look at Hicks again, we look at uh, Napoleon Hill, we look at um, H.P. Bovlansky. Um, these people were working with familiar spirits that were moving through them and um, ushering this information into our realm. 
um, Leviticus 19, verse 31 says, regard not them that have a familiar spirit, neither seek after wizards to be defiled by them. I am the Lord. So when you take this information and you're giving heed to this information, you're being defiled. So folks, we're definitely living in the last days where a lot of occult type teaching uh, is becoming uh, more and more prevalent within the church, subtle little things that are taking place. Um, this is one of the things that is taking place, one of the teachings that have been incorporated um, in, into the church. And then you even have popular church leaders who incorporated some of Napoleon Hill's um, teaching of Think Rich, Grow Rich into their um, writing leadership books. Um, and these are men, so quote unquote, supposedly men of God who've done this. We're, uh, we're going to cover in the future more aspects of occult teachings and occult philosophies that have in, have um, infiltrated the church. But um, God bless. Keep me in prayer as I keep you in prayer. Um, stay faithful. Be prayerful. Um, stay centered in um, the Lord Jesus Christ and the word. Um, don't deviate off the word or what makes you feel good or um, spiritual experience. Make sure the spiritual experience does line up with the word of God. This is the end time show for our program. God bless.